Hello scholars, thanks for visiting the InfoScholar channel. This is my resurrected hero. Uh, let's take a look at his ID. Dr. Damnation. He originated on the Champion server in the original game back about 2005. After the game went down, I thought that was it, but uh, with the advent of Homecoming, I have resurrected him and now he is on the reunion server. So let's take a look. Okay, let's uh, find a real quick mission. Okay, just a real simple one with no uh, rescue and no uh, object to find. Just a real simple uh, solo mission to kind of maybe show non-players how this game is played. How it unfolds when you're out adventuring. running radio missions uh, it's like old times uh, usually ran these when I was uh, close to leveling up of course this character is now level 50 he's working on his post leveling stuff like unlocking incarnate slots uh oh didn't have a lot of time to prepare there I think I dealt with them very effectively despite not having much time to prepare. Here we go. I am levitating because that gives me a defensive bonus. But also, all of these are buffs, so. Once again, that worked out very well. There's more baddies in here that I have to contend with, so. And yet more of them, okay. The AI in this game can be pretty funny sometimes. Just gonna stand there and let me have the first shot. And then get all aggro on me. That is hilarious. <laughs> okay. Onward and upward. Here we go. Just can't get along with some people. Alright. And here we have more of these stool pigeons awaiting execution. As you can tell, blasters are my favorite. But uh, I, I, I really like masterminds, and I will do a video on masterminds. 
And if in a, in a large group, I, I like to be the healer. Because there's an art and a science to, to healing, I think. Doing it well, anyway. And the inevitable elevators. These are a trope in this game. Sometimes they don't make a lot of sense, but uh, it's still fun. Well, now, okay, opens right on to a sideways hallway and a rather short little room full of bad guys. The guy. He was a real chump. Alright. Oh. Hi. They don't care. He's their friend, but they don't care. They don't, we never liked him that much anyway. Hey, where'd Dad go? Hey. Oh. Got style points on that one. And, like I said, there's a certain inevitability to Das Elevators. So, once again, some of these missions are like five stories tall, uh, and they have really small intervening maps, but a radio mission is not very complicated. You just have clear objectives and The different bad guy families are the most interesting part. This is a circle of thorns. They're a mystical group, so as you can tell, because they have demons and and stuff. I think here's our main bad guy. And I haven't been using my inspirations. It's really important to use these. They make you more powerful in the short term. And I'm going to get lined up on this main bad guy using all my personal buffs and so on and send him to the great beyond. Don't let me get lined up on you, son. Okay, here we go. Game over. And that's a very satisfactory conclusion to a quick little uh, run. Um, you can do these solo or with a group. And if you do a group, you're going to get a lot more uh, bad guys spawning. But as you can see, uh, solo, you can flatten every monster on the map, and it took about five minutes. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll be posting more of these because they're fun. And bye for now.